shiny. Shiny and new. Come on board. They're expecting you. Is it shiny and new if you're expecting us? Soon we'll be making another run. The love boat. <laughs> no, I don't know the rest of it. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. Look Thank behind you, you Mike. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. She was fixing her hair in the window, oh, which is no. awesome. That's always fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, civilization's a huge step, right? It's like, I think humans can take some pride in the things we just take for granted every day. Like, it's civilization. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. pretty cool. But it does. We can't pretend that it doesn't have a cost, right? And I think that's, that's the disconnect. Yeah, you just, uh, we got to work on that cost, right? <laughs> sure, because it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't, no, really. No, doesn't, not necessarily. No. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Charles has got new headphones, new shiny toy. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, look at me, look at me. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, how do we sound? What kind of headphones are they? Uh, audio techniques. Nice. Stereo, 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 yeah. stereo, stereo. Super stereo. Yeah. yeah, I wonder what the next step for stereo will be. I don't know. Like the Isn't that the Dolby Surround? Dune was, or, yeah. yeah. When I saw Dune, current? and it was in super duper, uh, uh, I don't know, Dolby or something. Yeah. But it was was it the new one? The new, yeah, the it two? was cool. Yeah, what did you think? Pretty cool. Good? Yeah, and the sound is great. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody, to another exciting edition of Our Town Podcast. Hello, extraordinary. <laughs> Boys, this is episode 62. Holy wow. God, we're just cruising, right? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well done, uh, gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Keep showing up. And uh, tonight's safe word, boys, if uh, anybody feels threatened and needs to stop this here show, is seatbelt. Oh. And it's in honor of our top five this week, which is our top five favorite muscle, muscle cars. cars. Yeah. And so, oh, heck, yeah. yeah. Most of those didn't come with oh, seatbelts yeah. back in the day. Yeah, but, I guess the racing harness, if you're really getting down, yeah, yeah, yeah. down into it. Didn't quite get to there, but, yeah. No, it's neat, though. Yeah, no, I've yeah. never had a car that would... <laughs> it could be anything but ironic. <laughs> oh, man, let me lay this on you. Uh, I thought this was funny. Uh, EGOT and Pure Joy, uh, Rita Moreno, was on The View this past week. Um, I think hey, she's got a... you guys! <laughs> oh, she's great. Oh, yeah, lecture company. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. and she was Anita and... Uh, yes, uh, and uh, West Side, West Side Story, Story and all oh, that. Yeah, yeah. And she might have... Yeah, no, she's incredible. So she was being interviewed, and she was talking about being in a deli in LA and she said I saw a sign in a deli wall in LA where I was visiting and it said Trump sandwich and then it goes on to describe it it's two slices of white bread bologna and a very small pickle oh my god <laughs> that's the trump that's the trump sandwich <laughs> Oh, oh, my really. God. And I bet she said all of that with perfect diction. Yes, in a colorful and sing-songy voice, yes. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, Electric Company was cool. Remember that? And Morgan Freeman. And Morgan Freeman right? was in there. In our first first live-action Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, oh, my God. And I was so excited to see it. And even as a tiny kid, I'm like, that is some hokey shit, bro. Yeah, but they brought it out for, like, three minutes, <laughs> yeah, right? And yeah. It was like a, and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. And it always so had the good. little word balloon. Yeah. yeah. So good. Because, yeah, these are just a bunch of college kids, right? Hanging out. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh my I don't God. know what Freeman was. Probably, what, uh, 30s? Impossible to say. Yeah. <laughs> He's an ageless <laughs> creature. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah who knows, man? Uh, <laughs> He's 153,000 years old. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he, yeah. he, did, he is God. Yeah. I mean, he is yeah. God. Yeah. And it's Bruce, great. And yeah. Bruce Almighty. Yeah, so. he used to drink with Methuselah. <laughs> Oh man, I bet that would be a hoot. <laughs> Hanging I'd, out I'd, with Noah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty sure his social security number is five. Yeah, nice. Quite a possibility. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's five. Yeah, yeah. It's just five. Yeah. The letter, the number five. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Oh my God, guys! Uh, uh, lots of news this week. This uh, is sort of weird for me because it's uh, we're on a different schedule. So yeah. we record on. Can I say it for Mike Stalkers? We record on Thursday nights now and release mm-hmm. on Tuesday. So it kind of throws off my whole uh, news gathering week. Yeah, because the news dump is Friday. It's Debbie. Friday. Yeah. So and I'm like, oh, do I want to include this stuff? Because it was like last week's yeah. news. But still, I mean, there's but it's some topical. heavy shit going on. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It's only been yeah. a handful of days since, since you know, since we recorded this and from when it's being posted. It's also true. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah. And no I issue. Mean, it's just t- me taking a little brain, getting sure. used to uh, the yeah. stuff. So, did, yeah. did you did, did either you guys have uh, trouble with Facebook a lot? A couple yeah, Todd, you mentioned this, yeah, and no, I sort of heard I'd a little heard bit about, about it. About it but yeah. I just, so, yeah. what happened was uh, a bunch of people got logged out of their Facebook accounts and they weren't able to log back in because apparently the servers were down. So it was, it was Facebook, Instagram, and I think Threads, hmm. and. Uh, I, I yeah I I, I yeah. saw somebody posting uh, posted a video about it on uh, TikTok. I was like, well, I haven't logged into Facebook today, so let me go see what's going on. And I go open the app. And it goes, uh, you know, uh, like session error being logged out. And, okay, fine, I'll log back in. And it goes session error being logged out. And hmm. I kept kept doing that in a loop. So basically, what I had to do was you know how you, on, a, on an Android phone you can go in and clear out the data for the app and just basically sign back in? That's what I had to do. And I was able to get back in on Facebook. Uh, Instagram, not so much. I had to wait a few. I try, it basically, I was like, I'll, I'll try later today. I'm, I'm not too concerned about being on Instagram right now. So Was there anything uh, concerning about the source of the... I haven't heard as far as what happened or why it happened, but just that like pretty much all of all of Meta was offline hmm. for a few That's hours. a big deal. Have they said yeah. anything? Um, I mean, I, I, I grabbed a store. It was the jab. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was it was, it was, got it, was together. The, it was the five G activating on their server. Uh, uh, it says here. Oh my God. I don't know, but I mean, and you know, I recognize it, and we need to talk about it. Um, we the sooner we regulate that, like uh, an industry or whatever, the better, because the misinformation and the right wing yes. dog shit, yeah. it, it just can't. Yeah. We it, we won't survive it. No. Yeah. We won't survive it. It's like we can't treat lies the same as truth, and because the they're not the is, same thing. It's no denying that it's on there, right? Yeah. And there's oh, no denying sure. no. that Russia and yeah. China are, are <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. There's just no. There's and, yeah. yeah, just to not. Not do something about it is well speaks good. volumes yeah. is what it does yeah, yeah. and that's right. not just about economics at all right, right? it's because that model right yeah. the serfdom thing they they want us to be their serfs people nothing less right. than that yeah. right and it's only because of the rule of law have we been able to push back against that yeah but it's no lie dude these guys love that model don't kid yourselves right right yeah. so it's an easy cheap way to get misinformation out there yeah and Which fractures the because you have yeah. you know half of Facebook or so or maybe more. Oh, it's so many human beings that shit yeah. out. No, no, it's so it's, effective. Yeah. It is so effective. That's why people do it, and that's why they modeled it the way they did, yeah. so that it is effective on how we think about things. Right? It's like, yeah. and then I mean, it's fascinating and it very well done. Yeah, I mean, I like it. So I didn't have any problem logging into Facebook at all, but I wasn't. You know, I usually don't. Until right, you know. Oh, it says late. it started. Um, it's, uh, the, re- the according to monitoring service Down Detector, error reports spiked around 10:25 a.m. Eastern Time hmm. on Tuesday, March 5th. As of approximately 10:40 a.m., Down Detector had received more than 500,000 error reports, about 60 or uh, 76 percent of the problems reported um, by Facebook users related trouble logging in. So, I mean, I haven't looked to see if they've released any kind of like, hey, this is what happened. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Just blame it on routine routine maintenance, everybody. Nothing to see here. Maybe it's the squirrel from Ice Age or whatever. <laughs> Chewed a wire. <laughs> through the wire. Not yeah. through a wire. Yeah. Jeez. S- somebody, I don't know. The somebody, servers are amazing uh, information processing things yeah but i mean they're not obviously they're not with completely invulnerable it's right like boo-boo right yeah 
But yeah, it was like, um, I, I didn't try logging in through my computer. I just did it through my phone, and it kept saying, you know, session timed out, re-log you know, re in, and it takes you back to the login screen, hit the login button, and it just sits there and spins and then goes, <laughs> error, you know, session timed out, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, something, something on the server side is going on here, because it's not like... Um, you know, when, once you log back, log out and log back in, it should let you back in. Yeah, it's a utility. We got to regulate it like yeah. utility. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. we wouldn't tolerate that from our electrical grid. Nor should we tolerate right? it from our uh, well, the misinformation. I guess we do though. <laughs> I was going to say from our radio stations and TVs, but I guess we do. We do, but we can't. Uh, but there's certain shit they can't do, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, and and that's fine because we need to be able to say what we want to say, right? Yeah. But yeah. but they are regulated. Yeah. TV but they're radio regulated. Are yeah. Related. yeah, depends on who you Kinda, have in not, there. But not really. Only against stuff that's not as big of a deal as. I don't want the internet uh, regulated, man. Yeah. I mean, no, no, no. Uh, not internet, but uh, Facebook and. Oh. and well, Just I would say the internet the... in general. I really because that works two ways as protections as well, right? Because. Uh, the Is fact that we're all just the uh, data points for massive amounts of like money, right? It's they, like that's they, a protection that we could have as, if it was regulated. Didn't they try to like yeah. regulate the internet and the internet collectively said no? No, no, I don't think not so. At all. No, we it's always it's always because uh, it's not the same as. No, it's I, not that I'm aware of. I'm right. sure there. I'm sure there's they, a they lot tried, of talk. And the, that, they were, you know, um, they were trying to do whatever subject. it is that they do in China, which is basically lock down everything. Yeah, no, that's not the same because that would happen anyway, right? Right? They, these guys, they don't give a fuck. If if the feds told them to turn the button off, they'd turn it off. Of course they would, right? Oh yeah, no, no, there's no. Of course, and they, and they could be compelled to do so. So yeah, uh, yeah, no doubt about it. I just you know, it, it's like the the. the the one place in the world where you can, now you, that can do, of, you can do anything and in, in, in without too much fear of any kind of retribution. Yeah, but that's yeah no, and the regulatory systems typically aren't used against the little guy. They're to uh, enable the little guy to not be preyed upon by yeah. okay. the big thing, right? That's okay. that's what the whole regulatory system is designed to do anyway. That's why we don't get poisoned as readily or maimed yeah. or you know et cetera et cetera et cetera because we decided to make all the protections base they put rules. in place after all of us Gen Xers were like the guinea pigs of like seat belts and whatnot sure yeah but that took a lot of wrangling too right it's like because they always say that it'll just crush you know profit basically and it never does so right it's like i can't think of any regulatory system that ran a business out an industry out i can't think of a single one now all the stuff about the logging and how logging went overseas so that was because the vested interest sold us out that had nothing to do with protecting the fucking snowy owl or whatever spotted, spotted owl. It's like, quit quit swallowing that narrative because it's dog shit, right? Yeah. It's like nobody forced the companies. To, they forced us to sell logs, our extracted wealth, you know, uh, overseas to the mills, right? right? And it's like, right. no, th that wasn't our decision. <clears throat> that was the Wall Street decision. Like dog shit. I don't know where we were talking. I got <laughs> fucked up. Oh my god. Okay, the You're okay, about Mike. fictional character. Where's my drama mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, from Facebook uh, to other uh, yeah. uh, no, gases. Uh, I followed this story for a while that we were sort of running out of helium. Right? Have you heard this? Oh, for sure. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's because uh, we're sending those balloons out for seagulls <laughs> to choke on. <laughs> well, uh, helium's used in a ton of other stuff, yeah, than yeah, just yeah, balloons. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but there was a massive uh, helium discovery uh, over in the Iron Mountains of Minnesota. Hmm. Uh, it's the biggest find in North America. They're calling it a dream discovery. Wow. So uh, it's uh, 2,200 feet down, and it's 12.4% helium inside the gas yeah, which is 30 else. times yeah. higher than the sort of the so industry they can standard it on the way out exactly. or something. Yeah. i don't know how they i don't know mix that's it and all that it, stuff. it's astounding that uh that this gas that's lighter than uh, obviously than all the rock fucking right, around it, et right. it's trapped in but there. it's trapped in a bubble in the fucking 2000 feet down 200 feet what down in the wow fuck that's crazy the, what I, know. The fuck? I know i didn't realize it's witchcraft that it, I, I didn't realize that helium was a natural thing i thought it was something that was combined. oh like a manufactured oh, yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. oh yeah a natural thing yeah because uh and they use it for yeah. stuff like uh, uh gases in mri machines so mm -hmm. when they uh i think when they send the air like into your lungs, they can uh, look 
closer because the helium gets a lot smaller than it can go further. Else. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, uh, I'm curious huh. as to how did how was it discovered? And how did they realize it, we could use it for this, this, and this? Oh, back in the day. Yeah, no, other than, crazy uh, dude. Other than a, making your voice sense. sound like yeah. Mickey Mouse and, right. and public investment. A lot yeah. of that was public investment yeah. in universities. Thank That's you true. very much. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that made those uh, the ability to have those scientific discoveries. Because otherwise, right. we'd be uh, flying around in blimps with hydrogen in them, like oh, yeah. Zeppelin. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> what, yeah, helium's cool as fuck. It is, and I, I really do like the idea of lighter than air aircraft but now they've got drones and shit so it's yeah, almost yeah, obsolete yeah, right? yeah 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 um yeah but i think they're really neat yeah do they even still use like the goodyear blimp is that still a thing oh yeah yeah oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's not as many blimps as you think yeah. there are there's only like 25 blimps in the entire world which is oh, i always wow. think of it there's like because yeah. they're yeah, slow there's as mass, fuck. but yeah they're yeah, yeah but goodyear so is still slow, a thing yeah. i don't know how many I they can't have the last time i saw the goodyear blimp uh, i thought i was well, not stuff like sporting borders and such and anything you need to give an eyeball on right because then you could just tether that motherfucker but i guess they do that with balloons yeah right and you can put a camera. Yeah, they do it all the time. Or you can China, send it China over. <laughs> yeah, send it over yeah, China. Remember that? They're like, what balloon? <laughs> China's like, well, we didn't send, send a balloon. Oh, that balloon. Yeah, yeah sorry, got off course. <laughs> oh, uh, what the we'll collect it on the other yeah, side. Yeah, we'll yeah, take yeah. care of that. Yeah, we'll take Don't care of that. It's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, can we just send, uh, a, uh, uh, can we send the Goodyear over China and just say, ha ha, we yeah, have kind of low, yeah, yeah. Low. Yeah. with no oversight? I'm sure we have, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, we got sad. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably drilled right down into. I guess that's what they would have us believe, man. But those motherfuckers, there's plenty does, of shit they yeah. miss. It's a trip. Yeah. I know that. You know, spoiler alert. But the military industrial complex lies to us. They do. What? I know, I know, I know, Mike, what? I hate to be the bearer Wait, of bad news, but over and over and over to try oh to justify my. their thirst for blood. I don't right? understand what you're saying. I know, right? and that's worldwide, people. They worldwide. don't lie to me. That that uh, <laughs> that sector of humanity has always kind of just pushed us into sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. For it. Well, speaking of the industrial uh, yeah. military complex, uh, Dwayne Johnson, oh. uh, he now owns the IP rights to Jabroni and like the People's <laughs> Elbow and right on. Uh, Candy Ass, Rudy, Rudy Poo. Is that one I of his things? He's got all those little slangs. Sure, sure. And to The Rock. So he owns right the on. TM on uh, all that stuff. And I think it's because he joined the board of I the mean, WWE. I was really holding him back that he didn't have that. It was just holding him back so much. Yeah. That poor guy hasn't his, been able to move, his you know. $800 million. He just, that guy's yeah. done it all. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. I mean, they've sort cool. of... Uh, Cause he's yeah, cause made he, it mint off of that he, crap he can the now, WWE uh, yeah. has. He can oh, now yeah. use it to crowdsource money for Hawaii, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Get in there, Dwayne. The Rock. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I enjoy his movies and stuff. No, sure, I don't geez. know. But, yeah. uh, and he just seems like a person who's did just determination and positivity to some degree. Right? I want to know is, and I'm hoping that this is the fact that he came up with that stuff. I don't know if he did, but I'm hoping it I was think, him and not just a series of writers. No, in the back I think, room I, I, I think most, Brony yeah. was, was a, uh, iron cheek thing. Back oh, in the was day. it? Yeah. And he wow. sort of adopted it. Well, he, uh, he got permission to. I have to thought use it was just it. an insult to somebody. <laughs> I mean, like it, a, it, like it, a, it, an it, insult it, that nobody really knows what the word means, so you it, get away with saying it. It is, but like that was one of the Such things a he would. Jabroni. Fucking jabroni. It was something that the Iron Sheik <laughs> used to say back in, oh, in nice. like the Iron 70s. Sheik is back in the yeah. day. Yeah. Sergeant Slaughter and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, the Iron Sheik died like what? Three or four years ago? Uh, a couple years know. ago. Yeah. yeah, like I think right before the pandemic, I no, think. That's great, man. man. Yeah. yeah. Those guys work, and I mean, he's been, you know, Dwayne Johnson. In fact, if you Lucky guys, enough to avoid injury and shit, seemingly. So that's fortunate. If you haven't yeah. seen Young Rock, it's on Peacock, and it's it's a great sitcom. And it's basically about his his him growing up and the different uh, time periods were like when he was like a eight or nine year old and hanging out with his dad and all these big name wrestlers and stuff and and then there was a t there was a time period when he's like in his his tweens and then teenage years and then his twenties and then uh, but it shows all the different parts of his of his life and the all the behind the scenes stuff with wrestling yeah. and whatnot his mom nice. his mom and his grandmother were the ones who who, who ran the the Hawaiian uh, Wrestling Federation or whatever it was yeah. called. All right. 
Everybody hates The Rock. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I watched Everybody Hates Chris, which I thought was oh, brilliant. Nice. Early. It's sort of similar. Type yeah, I, I legit did not like his character because he was so arrogant. Um, but that was... Which that, one? The Rock. Oh, okay. yeah. Dwayne, uh, yeah. His character in the ring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like when he when he first became a heel, he was this super arrogant. He, I, so, my, he was a heel. My shit yeah, does so. not stink. Did he start out as a heel and then become a he, hero? He or? wanted to be a baby face, but people hated him, so he kind of leaned into it. Uh, okay. So because I remember like Hulk was always the hero, and then he became a heel. Kind of the while, NWO right? thing or whatever. Yeah. 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 When he when he went over to WC. W, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a Start lot of work. Black. And trying to keep it, you know, because you, you got to keep it fresh, but you got to have branding, putting, right? All at yeah, the same yeah, time. It's putting, like putting it's eyeliner, a demanding thing. Putting eyeliner on your on your whiskers to make your, do your beard black. look a little black. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, it was, yeah. Come on, Terry. Uh, well, Vanity's, uh, she's a, uh, she whispers. Yeah. Vanity uh, whispers. Just talks in your ears. She doesn't yes. whisper. She flat screams in your uh, face, man. I can have too much grass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh my yeah, god! I just fall asleep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Any you know, devil or angel is on my shoulder. I'll just nod off. I just, I, I, I just have this visual of Mike tying his his chops into a knot so he doesn't choke himself or get like get it stuck in his in his mouth. Yeah, jeez, I do. I'm, you know, nice. I roll around at night. I'll, well, speaking of wrestling and the South, because that's oh, where yeah. wrestling is so popular, uh, Sarah Huckabee. Oh, yeah, uh, I'd wrestle governor, Sarah Huckabee. <laughs> I wouldn't touch her with the tent uh, uh, We talked about her uh, a few months ago. She had bought that podium yeah. uh, for like $20,000, which yeah, should have yeah. cost like oh, well, sure, 1200 sure, bucks. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, she's in tr- sort of trouble yeah. again. I haven't heard anything since this story, but uh, she ended up going to the Super Bowl or the Superb Owl for those who don't follow it. Um, <laughs> Uh, with her entire, <laughs> with her entire family, huh? <laughs> and she says that they bought their own seats and everything. But there's actual photographs from her own like Instagram feed where she's on the field, she's in like the owner's box, huh. she's well, in luxury she boxes. Sitting, she's a sitting, sitting governor, governor, right? I mean, well, sure. And I well, mean, what people yeah. are saying though is that uh, there's a special pass that you can buy to get field access, sure. and it costs thousands of dollars to go down on the field, even for a few minutes. Yeah, but she could also just have her state patrol go. Mm, I want to go to the field. Yeah, and but the problem is, it's like a gift, right? Oh, so well, she's well, sort of accepting yeah, a gift right. oh, of geez, thousands of dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's an actual exchange of a ticket or an item of some kind, it, yeah, access. She could easily I just don't say, know. I, I, I was taking, a, I was taking my four best state patrol down there. I thought I saw a black kid carrying a bag. <laughs> 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 he's not supposed suspicious, to be on the field. Suspicious person. Oh you my god. Mother. He's not supposed uh, to be on the field. Yeah, oh uh, there was god. a nice podium down there. I wanted to go look at it. Yeah. Um I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I have a lot of problems with her and there's zero doubt in my mind that it she's Yes, of course. There's graft and corruption around her, yeah. <laughs> right, man? Yeah. But uh, yeah. bomber is she facing charges at all? No, well, uh, fuck, but people know. are bringing it up, and yeah. she may have to defend herself. No, for... she's a scumbag for a whole bunch of other reasons, oh, sure. and doesn't belong anywhere near policy, let alone an executive yes. of a state. Yeah, that's a really good yeah. job, man. Yeah. And uh, and she does have control of state patrol stuff. All uh, right, right. So she can be. She can call in those guys to quell all sorts of stuff yeah, right so absolutely. i want somebody with decent judgment i do not believe she has the freedom uh because i don't find her to be a stupid person at all and that no. she's choosing these weird fucking policies yeah right? no she had every uh, advanced opportunity in her life her dad was governor for a long oh, time yeah, yeah, yeah. perennial and they're both uh, just radicals yes they're radicals they are yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they shouldn't be anywhere near the 20th century. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember. Let alone the uh, 21st. It's like it's ridiculous that she is a sitting governor. Yeah. With those, that those policies, sorry, period, because she's the vehicle, right? It's like those policies shouldn't be in a governor's office in the 21st century. Yeah. Just I ridiculous. Totally agree. Yeah, I remember Mike Huckabee talking about how uh, in college or high school, I think it was college, they would uh, shoot and kill a squirrel and bring it up to their dorm room and cook it on like the popcorn popper. Like heat it up and cook it. It was like, what the... <laughs> 
I wonder if that's okay. true. Maybe that's no, true. No, he bragged about it. Yeah, let's make it true. I just that yeah. always sticks in my down, mind. Home, Plus, he's a he's yeah. a bass player, so he's played with. Does he like, play with a pick? I don't know. Oh, fuck, he could get stabbed <laughs> or some shit like that. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> is that a bad thing? No, I don't, I don't know. know man. I, I just, I kid, I kid. As long as the, if somebody's playing, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but I, yeah. I, I do talk shit about that sometimes. Yeah. Because I'm a finger picker on my guitar. Yeah, no but, pick. No, no, no. I Never did initially, been. maybe the very first few weeks or something but and then yeah. quickly gave it no, up. i didn't really no. yeah. well good on you mike uh, oh, geez, geez, geez. uh speaking of uh, crazy old people uh huh. a 70 year old man and i remember reading this years ago when he sort of set the record but a 70 year old man has extended his guinness world record streak his boast is that he has eaten over thirty four thousand big big macs wow 34 k Big Macs in his lifetime. It's a life. That's his lifetime achievement. He set the record in 1999, but he continues to climb every year. Uh, he used to eat nine Big Macs per day. Nine what? per day. I'm a big man. I can't do that. Up to 1999, right? So he'd eat them probably two for breakfast, two for lunch. Two Fuck, for that's, uh, that's a, a lot, lot of big, Macs, of big Macs, dude. That's a lot of salt. Yeah. It's a lot of oh, bad, I bet that is a lot of salt. Bad shitty red meat. I don't yeah. know, uh, but he's oh, man, he's that's... taking it down to <laughs> one for lunch and one for dinner at yeah. this point. Yeah, uh, it's just it's to maintain it's his single health. guy. It's easy. <laughs> probably, <laughs> <laughs> but he says he walks six miles a day and he's uh, to keep get it on. down, uh, which is great. He doesn't eat the fries, doesn't drink any soda. He just has. Oh, the, there you go. The thing. I don't know. Fuck. I haven't had one in a long. Time. Yeah, I had one a couple days ago. Yeah, hmm. well, he's what? fifty special sauce, right? Fifty that... years he's been on his two all beef patty special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, <laughs> pickles, onions, on a sesame seed bun yeah. journey oh, that he's been on. Man. Three bun journey, right? He's good on him. Three, I bun guess journey. it's kind of nuts. And so let's say he paid an average of two dollars a piece for those over the course yeah, of 50 so, years yeah, yeah so yeah, how yeah. much is that 34 it'd only be 68 grand Sixty-eight thousand dollars that he gave to, <laughs> to mcdonald's McDonald. yeah no he could have i don't know could have bought a uh, what are the heart attack machines <laughs> <laughs> the eight bought his own whatever, ekg yeah. machine <laughs> <laughs> oh you mean the, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to get his yeah. get his heart regulating. Yeah. Oh man, oh, God, on. I can't believe nine Big Macs. That's a lot. Day. That That's seems lot like a lot. Big Macs. And what he does is he he goes to McDonald's like once or twice a week, and he'll buy like his whole uh, week's worth, uh, and then he'll so eat one like, in the yeah. restaurant, take the rest home, put them in the fridge, and then quickly just heat them up. And I can't imagine That's those way taste worse. great. No, that makes it way worse. <laughs> no, I, 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 I maybe this guy. I needs to talk to someone. <laughs> My question is: Is he is he heating it up in a microwave, or is he putting him in the oven? I don't know. It doesn't it say. Way. It would dry, one would dry it out, the other just like make it kind of rubbery. Sloppy, yeah. Oh man. Jeez. Jeez, this poor guy. I mean, he's like faced with Sophie's choice. He needs I'm not even sure if you can call what McDonald's has as beef. You know, yeah. honestly. I mean, if he's I walking six miles. If he's walking yeah. six miles a day, he can just take his ass down to McDonald's, get his Big Mac on, and go home. Right? Sure. I mean, there's yeah. got to be a McDonald's within six miles of where he's living. Yeah, I mean, unless he's in Siberia big, or I something. Think, yeah. <laughs> oh man, way north in Newfoundland or something. But That's intense. That's a yeah. lot. Newfoundland. 34 mm. thousand. You got some catching up to do, boys. So, yeah, geez. yeah it's it doesn't good. even add. Uh, Big Mac doesn't even cross my mind. No, it doesn't even, it does, it doesn't yeah. even enter. Honestly, yeah. if I had to choose between Big Mac and, and a quarter pounder, I'd pick a quarter pounder every time. Yeah. Uh, chicken sandwich for me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you guys know that the Big Mac uh, in Mississippi is the cheapest? It's $3.91. This is not the meal. This is just the sandwich. Just the, ha the sandwich. Just the sandwich. In Hawaii, it's $5.31. I, yeah, I is can that see before Hawaii. tax, you think? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's probably because they don't have cows in Hawaii. Yeah. So they have a lot of cows in Hawaii. Actually. Do they? Oh, yeah. No, the biggest ranch, I think, cattle ranch. 
Do you, do you think that McDonald's uses that beef, or do they import it from the mainland? I got to no think idea. they import it in, just because they have their system of doing things. I don't know, though. I mean, I we've know, got yeah, down in Sumner, they've they got the, the bakery that makes all the buns and stuff. Hmm. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a big bakery down there. And if you drive by and it once in a while, it'll that. smell like McDonald's a little bit. Hmm. Nice. But, buns. Uh, Buns. Smell the buns. buns. Smell the buns. I know everything else buns. over there is expensive, so I don't. Uh, yeah. But but Honey, somebody some portion of that has to be imported, right? Then yeah. What about the special sauce? <laughs> what about what about the sesame Big seeds? Tubs. You, you yeah. mean Big, ketchup and, yeah. and mayonnaise? Isn't that yeah, what no, it is? I remember on the Big Island there's there's a giant kettle ranch. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really is a thing. The cowboys over there is a big thing. Hmm. Um, it's somebody it actually take because just we know prices have gone up and stuff. Um, and we talked about this kind of when we were talking about the minimum wage or and profiteering. Sort of, <laughs> yeah. We, and yeah, profiteering, but yeah. We, how we're willing to pay a little extra. But uh, McDonald's has gotten friggin' expensive. Uh, hmm. Somebody took a picture of their receipt and they got a Big Mac combo meal. Couldn't tell you if it was large, medium, or small, but they paid seventeen dollars and fifty nine cents for a Big Mac is, is combo that, meal. Is that, that seems like a lot. Is that dine in or is that delivery? Uh, I think it was dine in. Uh, it was hmm. at a rest stop. I kind of probably a truck stop. McDonald's. Oh, well, that's geez. why in Darien, Kentucky, or Connecticut. Sorry. Oh, so me. Yeah, maybe that's like the uh, the be, exclusive Martha's Vineyard neighborhood or it, something. It has, to be, it has to I be a large yeah. a large meal. Because yeah. I think the, the last time I got a Big Mac meal here. Dine in, it was like fifteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and the twenty bucks is the new five bucks. It really is, right? That's yeah. just how that is. Yeah. It's like it really stuff is. that used to be because used to oh, you could feed a family of four for ten dollars at McDonald's and shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, that was stretched the truth anyway. But you could give a bunch of people a bunch of empty calories. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Some hot water and anymore. ketchup packs get you. Yeah, no, a yeah, uh, burger is gonna gonna get get you close to twenty dollars these days. It really you know? is. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. It all depends on where that goes that that I, I should feel annoyed or not right because i'd rather th- have that going to the employees than to some nameless uh just share fund, right some yeah. giant fucking you know uh super capital fund somewhere yeah oh man Jeez. Well, speaking of high prices, I saw an article where uh, it was actually a TikTok uh, where some guy was describing the New York's smallest apartment, and it was 59 square feet. 59 square feet. Did not have its own bathroom. You had to share a bathroom with others. Uh, clocks in at $1,400 a month for rent. That sounds oh, like one of those micro uh, condos that you have here in Seattle. Oh, I've now seen that, but 59 square feet is like... That's 10, yeah. I mean, 10, 10 by 6. 10 by 6. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy was really tall in the video, and there's like a little... That's just a place to crash, right? Because it doesn't have ba- yeah. bathrooms, so maybe there's no water in there at all? Is there no kitchen? water in. There's a refrigerator, yeah. a small mini fridge uh, from the pitcher, and the bathroom was down the hall, and he actually took a video where he yeah, had to kind of yeah, work his way the through. The Hilton is that way, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. a boarding house kind of thing. 14 bucks yeah what the fuck is that Ugh. for a closet basically to sleep in. yeah it's on the lower east side though, right? of manhattan like, so yeah but i don't know hmm. and taylor swift causing international consternation oh uh, i guess what she did was she signed an exclusive deal to perform in singapore for three million dollars a concert I think she's doing uh, seven shows, seven nights there, $3 million a piece, uh, but That's also not terrible. probably getting like uh, like ticket sales and stuff too. But I mean, shit, we'll do $3 million all day for mm. you know, just invite us over Singapore. Oh, yeah. Um, but the neighboring countries are all pissed off that she's not coming to them to spread the wealth. So what's happening is all the people in the neighboring countries like Thailand and, and wherever else uh, are all coming into Singapore and they're collecting all the tourist dollars, sure. hotel oh, yeah. money, yeah. all that stuff, yeah, yeah. and they're not spreading the wealth. But they were smart and jumped on it ahead of time and said, hey, we'll give you an extra $3 million per concert. Yeah, just for showing up. Just for showing up. And they're, I think what they That's said was uh, $372 million in tourist revenue. 
wow. is what they're expected to get. The country. And then she's getting twenty one million. So she's that's about a good return on million. their a investment. Huge return right? on investment. Yeah. yeah. I guess and that's spread out through a bunch of businesses and some of that'll come back as tax money, et cetera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And that's a lot. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I've never been to Singapore. Never been to Singapore. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, but if you guys are out there, we love snacks. I would love to get some <laughs> snacks from yeah, Singapore. Singapore we want snacks, them. yeah. I would take that. Singaporean? <laughs> have, that have them send it to think? this location? Send it to I Am Renton in beautiful downtown. Oh, yeah, in beautiful Detroit, downtown Renton. Right? Right? No, yeah, no, we're not doing yeah. that. Yeah. You can call us first, and then we'll arrange for pickup. We will. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Florida. Oh, Florida. Florida derp. Have you heard about the sickness madness that's going on in Florida? I did hear about measles. Yeah. So and the, that they're, yeah, yeah, their surgeon general's a little... He's a little loony. ding dong Right? He believes that uh, COVID shots were the work of the devil. No, I think he believes that that's the side his bread is buttered. Right? Oh, okay. That's why I, these yeah, guys make these I'm stupid... With I'm with you. Stupid fucking statements yeah. that as a physician... The, he couldn't possibly believe that as know. a physician. I right? don't know. Maybe. I mean, look Maybe. at Ronnie Jackson, uh, Trump's former... Yeah, but I former. think he's just a doctor feel good. That's all yeah. he is, right? No, no, that guy's obviously just in it for the money, right? right? Yeah. Not, to, not to put too fine a point on it, but... Right? Uh, but there's been an entirely preventable... Uh, series of measles. Yeah, measles isn't funny. And uh, a lot of these anti-vax parents are haven't had their children uh, vaccinated for measles, and he said, "No, it's okay. Just keep going to school. Yeah, We're not going to shut the school it. down." I don't know. They, they continue they, they, to go to can... school. Measles yeah, that seems bad. They're highly contagious, is the thing. It's, that's, it really yeah. is. Uh, and then what is the, I know death could ensue, but it's, uh, especially with young people, but I forget what the... Uh, yeah, is the it, symptoms and stuff? Yeah, is know. it just fever and... Lack, lack of faith in their parents' decision-making capabilities, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Could, could uh, inoculations be uh, created in such a way that they are the safest, most effective... Uh, most easily trusted medicine ever. Yeah, I believe they could. Is that what we do now? Not typically, because it's there's a profit motive. All right. Right? You know what I mean? So it's like progress I'm always welcoming, but the idea that they are worse than the disease is not based in anything. Yeah. Yeah. It really isn't, and we need to get that out, right? That's that's flat earth nonsense. Yeah. And nobody right? complained about the polio vaccine, right? I mean, no, they, they the... wa- yeah, waited and waited and waited. Yeah. yeah. And polio is typically not fatal, but it, it makes you less uh, able, right? It does. It's yeah. Yeah. Etc. It's like, yeah. and the thing is, the the more a disease can spread, it runs a, a a risk of going a number of ways. One of which is more dangerous to the host, yeah. right? A lot of times they get less dangerous, and just, so they don't just completely burn themselves out. Not always. Yeah. Not always. So that's always a chance. And the more bodies that get infected, the more uh, of those probabilities are playing out, right? So man. Yeah. That's why inoculations are also good, right? It's because they keep that spreading vector a little fucking contained. Right. You know? Right. Oh, man. It's just totally necessary. Yeah. And I mean, and that's another thing we were talking about civilization earlier. It's like disease is real, right? And we are just so fortunate to not be faced with it, right? But it is very real in this world and always waiting, right? So, fuck. Give your kids a shot. And if they're retarded, you can still love them. <laughs> and collect Mike, state money. Mike, the oh. politically correct term is Republican. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, horrible uh, state leaders, uh, Greg Abbott has uh, gone into the Houston Independent School District, the public schools down in Houston, and he has actually basically fired the uh, duly elected school board and replaced them with state-appointed uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, uh, I guess a board, uh, which has prompted mass resignations of teachers. Plus, they've well, gone yeah. in and they're trying to... Uh, uh, and what happened to small government? Yeah, yeah. Weren't these guys like talking about small government for the last 40 years? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. they've taken control uh, in June 20, uh, 2023, uh, replaced everybody with state-appointed uh, state appointed superintendent, 
Uh, he is uh, the guy that they appointed is uh, Floyd Mike Miles, <laughs> uh, who previously served as the uh, uh, superintendent of the Dallas School District before resigning in 2015. Um, they've called for uh, online position petitions have called for his removal and have received more than 13,000 signatures. Uh, he ended up spending four hundred and seventy thousand dollars of district money for a uh, a family member who was putting on a school production. Four hundred and sixty. Yeah, maybe maybe it was Fiddler on the Roof. Dollars. And he's all, if I were a rich man. <laughs> oh, I am, I am, I am, I am. And this I happened am. during uh, the winter oh. time. I got with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, guys, it's Tabby over here. <laughs> uh, uh. During the winter time, when a lot of schools were faced with uh, not being able to heat the schools. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's weird. We got to, well, A, please. Um, are they conservative beliefs? No. All this kind of stuff. Please don't let them use that moniker because it's ridiculous. No. It, these are radical ding dongs, right? And it's and they love to, you know. This is the only stripe of radical ding dong who likes to get into power and then make sure that they isolate themselves from getting tossed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I'm sick of hearing about. Yeah, no, going it's just we gotta we gotta bring reason back, yeah. make reason cool again. Yeah, right. Yeah, especially with the what is it, the Moms for Liberty and all that. Oh bullshit. man, it's just, it's just like oh yeah, yeah. Uh, famous last words. I'm gonna let you guys guess who this was. Uh, famous last words. Uh, the the person's daughter has uh, written a book about her father. Who has since pa you know has passed, uh, and she writes, "When we hugged, I could feel his vertebrae, his ribs. He smelled musty, like medicine sweat. And she, when she was about to leave, her father's voice called out to her, "Liz." She responded, "Yes," and he said, "You smell like a toilet." <laughs> <laughs> and then she left. Uh, any idea? <laughs> It was uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, oh. That's his daughter, Liz, who they've always had a strained relationship. But uh, she says it's probably because she was wearing a lot of rose water that she nice. kind of probably smelled like yeah. a, a little bit like a... Like a toilet. You smell like a toilet. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I hope mean, that's going to be my last possible. word. Yeah, how did he had a cancer or some kind? Oh, yeah, whatever yeah. 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 It's possible he had like fancy water in his toilet. That's why he, he said he smelled like a toilet. He washes his rump with with rose water. Oh yeah, I wonder if yeah you get it's it in his bidet. Perrier and your bidet <laughs> got a special mix. Does it clean better when it's fizzy? I don't know if you're a billionaire. I don't know. You could find out. Tickles, right? right? Yeah. Oh, man. It tickles my taint. <laughs> yeah, specific minerals or whatever. It's a great idea, guys. I think we could make some money on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Steve Jobs, whatever. Uh, apparently, uh, according to a new Rolling Stone report, uh, going back to the Trump White House, uh, the White House was awash in speed and Xanax during the Trump oh, yeah, administration. No, I believe that. Yeah, it seems yeah. obvious. Yeah, yeah, it? Yeah. it was one of the most uh, was among the most distributed drugs by the White House Medical Unit, followed by Xanax. Yeah, which was who? Ronnie what? Uh, Ronnie uh, Jackson. Right? Yeah, no, he's, right? a, he's a doctor feel good. It's yeah, just fucking yeah. obvious. Yeah, they were passing. God. Now, Modafini, yeah. which is a uh, Provigil, which is a uh, speed-related kind of thing. Did, uh, did either of you guys see the video? Of, it was like a montage of him, him like sniffing as he's like doing his speeches and stuff. He's like, <laughs> too much coke. Oh, uh, Donald Trump. So. <laughs> Got to keep that coke up there. Uh, you remember Stephanie Grissom? Uh, Grissom uh, was the very short-term uh, uh, press secretary for Trump hmm. for a little while. She says that uh, uh, the work in the White House was grueling at times, especially when overseas trips were involved. And Dr. Ronnie would apparently come around Air Force One asking Donald Trump's senior staff if they needed anything. 
<laughs> Drugs he would offer included Provigil and Ambien. Uh, when this happened on Air Force One, a nurse would be trailing him, writing down who got what. Yeah. So it just came up to you on the plane. Hey, do you, do you need a little pick me up? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. And he's or not do you want to go first. sleep? That's, what, that's how they killed Elvis. That's or do you want to make them both together and that's see how they what happens? It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Because then you need them, right? Yeah. Motherfuckers, yeah. no, I hate that shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Although, if there's a doctor out there who wants to be, uh, wants to write me a script or two, I mean. <laughs> 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 Just the roids, uh, though, please. Man. Uh, a bunch of Teslas coming in behind us. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Yay. Hmm. Yeah, they got the Tesla dealership here in beautiful Renton. In Downtown. Not, yeah. uh... Right on Grady, across the street from the the uh, the cop shop. Yeah. Yeah. Right over, I think Kia used to be there, right? Was yeah, I think Kia? so. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, Supreme Court this week sides with no, Trumps on states uh, not being able to kick him off the thing. Uh, one, uh, yeah, one the page. Ballot. It was yeah. a one page. Uh, Reasoning, and they went pretty far with it too, and they they basically outlined what would have to happen for him to be kicked off a ballot in the state, and it would have to be oh. approved by Congress. Oh, I meant the immunity one. Oh yeah, yeah no, see, no, that's no, what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The, oh. the Congress would yeah. have to do that. So I mean, they basically, uh, it, it was a unanimous decision. Yeah. To uh, not, but I think you could still file a lawsuit on whether they can hold the office. I would think right? so. It's just, but but they can't be kept off the ballot. Off and the I ballot. think I thought yeah, they were yeah. going to take it that the parties had free speech or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like, but they did. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, but they basically uh, uh, gave uh, every president uh, one free insurrection. Oh man, it's madness! It is madness, and they are not conservatives. They are radicals. Yeah. They are. They believe in this unitary fucking presidency thing. It's just dog shit yeah. on its face. Yeah. What the fuck? How can you even say it out loud and act like it's a thing? Yeah. Right? It's like because a president and a senator and you and I, we're citizens. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. all the same. There's no outranking another citizen. Right? Right? It's yeah. like. And that includes the presidency. Yeah, of absolutely. Of course, yeah. it does. Yeah, it has to. Oh, has to. oh my goodness. I don't... Uh, 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 absolutely. I don't, Either uh, you watch uh, Jimmy Kimmel at all? I don't. I uh, just don't have the time. He did a bit where he would read off things that Trump did to Trump supporters, but they would say, Joe Biden has oh. been done <laughs> sure, sure, sure. this. Yeah. And they go, oh, wait, sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I got the wrong copy. This is, this is, it, those things were attributed to Trump. Right. And then these people yeah. would like backpedal and start like defending Trump and whatnot. Yeah, my so. favorite meme right now is, you know, people asking, uh, like Reagan did so effectively back in 1980, is, sure. are you better off now than you were four years ago? And that's become sort of the standard operating modus operandi for an, a sure. you know non incumbent uh, presidential person. Yeah, are you better off? Now? Are you better off now? Yeah. And people are like, oh yeah, the prices are so high, inflation's rampant, and it's like, yeah, but at least we don't have a uh, freezer. Uh, truck containers full of dead bodies because of COVID. Because nobody sure, did sure, sure. COVID. You know, yeah, and our economy, by I mean, I, the numbers say that it's 20% more expensive now than it was when he came in office. Biden right? or Trump. As an average. So gasoline yeah. plus food plus everything is up 20%. I think in some respects, that's sure. Others, that seems a little low, but I get it. It's the perception, though. We feel like, you know, we're. Problem, yeah. Yes, that is absolutely. And the, the perception that a president has that has, much influence yes, on great. that. And, it's and, just, and that there's been everywhere else, inflation is way fucking Oh, yeah. The, Europe, the, the, Asia, the actions everywhere. of like build back better and investing uh, taxpayer money, our money into our projects, et cetera, to keep the, you know, different segments working and fucking money moving around, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Seems to have fucking worked, right? Yeah. And the Fed, evidently that shit worked, man. Yeah. Right? It's like, and whatever Summer says to do, do the opposite. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. That piece of shit. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, and I'm not going to toot their own because I, there's still millions of, Amer of Americans without uh, health care, yeah. et cetera. We should be into way into socialized medicine. we got to be pushing back about uh, election theft and all this kind of shit. Mash it needs to get done and isn't. And uh, I'm not huge into Joe Biden. If, if people have legitimate shit to talk about Joe Biden, right? Yeah. yeah. And not just yeah, then, yeah, yeah, but yeah. now, right? It's like, yeah. 
No, I'm, but I'm comparatively, totally he's not the one looking to end democracy. Right, that's only, the problem. Only one candidate and one party has sold yeah, themselves yeah. out to the point of not being mad about the ending of democracy. Right. Right, in the beginning stages of that neo-feudalism, and yeah. I'm not joking. Right. That's not hyperbolic, dude. That's yeah. precisely how it ends up. Yeah. Right, the rule of law is this tiny, shining city on the... Uh, on the hillside, right, that's been able to push back with the rule of law against those types of uh, warlord power that always crop up in humans, right? Yeah, so true. Oh, fuck. Absolutely. People. True. And Super Tuesday. Yay. Yeah. Any big surprises? No. The Nikki Haley scene as a moderate. Yeah. I'm still surprised at that because she's yeah. not. She's a radical and a and ding dong. She only yeah. took Vermont, I think. Is and that right? D.C. Oh, and D.C. Yeah. 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 Was that Super Tuesday, D.C.? I thought no, that was no, before. No, it was early. But, yeah. And then Joe Biden did not take uh, American Samoa, which was oh. interesting. But I guess I was talking to uh, my son Bailey about this and uh, I guess the guy that did win um, low like never gonna have a chance candidate but he spent a lot of uh, time and effort doing zoom calls with oh, various right. yeah. organizations over there getting his name out so uh-huh. he won yeah. I think there was a hundred votes yeah. and he got 54 of them or Are something, you something about like that guy that. no one's heard of from Minnesota no it was somebody else it wasn't the Minnesota rep- uh, representative uh, Jesse the body <laughs> my the friend no. of the show no it was just a random dude yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm famous in America, uh, in mainland America. Yeah. You know, and he was able to yeah. take, I mean, that's, that's his right claim on. to fame yeah. now, yeah, right? That's cool. I, you know, I don't know. It's like Joe, uh, Joe Biden, I mean, worse than it should be, yeah. but he's a problematic candidate. Yeah. Right? It's like he's not terrible, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like, but as far who's as, the heir apparent? Who's coming next? As far what do as we got? M- yeah. Sort of moderate, centrist, yeah. uh, centrist. I mean, he's not terrible. Right. He's not terrible. I don't know how but you he is old him, and he seems yeah. really fucking old, yeah. but it's like, He's also got a team around him. I don't know what happened to Kamala. I don't She's know what happened. Gone. She just kind of yeah. disappeared. Yeah. So, because I figured that he was going to be a one-termer and just hand it off to her. Yeah. That's what I would have planned for. Yeah. And where's the rest of the nationwide Democrats? It's like, who's the next guy? I don't know. Who's the next lady? Don't Anybody? Know. Anywhere? Anybody? Anybody? It's stand yeah. up. It's like, what if he got, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, how come they're not running a Gavin Newsom or something? Or somebody like that. Right. You know? And Newsom brings yeah. a lot of... Uh, yeah, California baggage, California or whatever, baggage, but, but yeah, but yeah. somebody like that. Where's the other? Right. Where's the other? Where's the other guy? Gavin Newsom, right? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, I don't know. Because because I, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's bonkers, and, and yeah, yeah, I don't know. Bonkers. Yeah. Uh, and Mark Dodson, uh, rest in peace, has passed away. He's a voice actor, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. <laughs> That was him. Oh. And yeah, because uh, what's the name of the... Uh, Salacious Crumb. Yes. yes. <laughs> so good. That little Weasley yeah. little... <laughs> yeah. Salacious yeah. Crumb. That is one of the top names of all time. He was also, he was also one of... Crumb. He was one of, I think, two or three of the uh, gremlins from both the Gremlins. Oh, yep. sure. gremlins. oh man. He did other Star Wars productions. He uh, voiced some of the Ewok stuff. Oh, not, yeah. not, I don't know no, if he was no. in Return, but it was, uh, at the very least, like the, the indoor... The special uh, edition stuff. The special edition stuff. He'd been around, did a lot of video games, stuff like that. So, uh, But just for being that, what do we call him? Salacious Crumb? Salacious yeah. Crumb. So yeah, good. just being that yeah. uh, alone I mean, that is... That character awesome. alone was like he he was definitely one of my favorites in those movies. Does he go down on the uh Yeah. Okay. He or dies he? he dies with a uh, job of the hut when that explodes. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Funny. Or does he? Or does he? <laughs> they could do a whole series on just him crawling out of the Oh my god, that would be great. <laughs> Holy crap, if they did if they yeah, did he like a the he's of the Starlight Pit too. Yeah. If if they oh did god. like a if they did like a spin off like they did the scrat the little, the little Jurassic rat from our uh, weasel or whatever it was from the 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 uh what was those uh, Ice, Ice Age, Age movies? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. the, the, the little the little thing that was obsessed with the the acorn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So good. Oh, and God. he's just the catalyst for all of existence. Right. He's, he's like, yeah, that squirrel creature is, yeah, like the star child from 2001. 
He is. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Everything bad that happens in that universe all. is all because of him. Yeah. Right. No, that's great. Kind oh my crap. god. Anybody else have any other news they uh, yeah, well, remember the for Supreme this Court thing? We yeah. gotta figure that out. It's like I don't know, man. I don't know. I because I don't really like the idea of starting uh, impeachment proceedings against Supreme Court justices. Uh, and these guys have already shown themselves to be kind of vindictive and real clicky. Yeah, um, yeah. But something's got to happen. They got to feel some kind of heat because they are blowing shit up. They are not conservative. No. What does that mean? What does that word mean? No. Right? You it's call like, it conservative and Teddy no, Roosevelt's rolling in his grave. No, right? fuck. These guys are nuts. Yeah. They are. And they will rewrite the power structure. Right? You don't want one branch that can... Do whatever they want. You really don't. You don't. You don't. Everybody. And I wouldn't be mad. Uh, I wouldn't have been mad, uh, you know, three years ago if Joe Biden said, yeah, you know what? I think we're going to up the Supreme Court from nine to 12. Judges. Yeah, no, I would have been totally okay yeah, with that. That would have been great. Yeah. No, no, no issue here. Yeah, and just make those uh, rules of transparency, right? The, this kind of isolated court, uh, it's just too much. It's obviously not working. Right. For the yeah. vast majority of us, they're way out of touch. They, uh, you know, a number of them belong to uh, really small religious cults. Right. It's like, can we please which, get some, some, which uh, they're free yeah. to do, but it's like that can't necessarily uh, overly influence their judgments. Right. Cause they weren't necessarily open about that when they were running for the job. No, and they never are. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I don't know. And, I, and we have the right to religion. We do. But we also have the right from religion. Right? right. And both of those come with their set of responsibilities. Right. Most of which is don't um, tread on your neighbor. Right. It's like that's the thing about policy is that it affects the Jew and the Gentile. Right. The believer and the non. Right. And that's not necessarily the place for uh, civilization's hand. Right, oh, man, I'm not into it. <laughs> not into it either. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Todd, do you remember what you were gonna say? No, no, because it involved cats. <laughs> no, I doubt it involves cats. Let's talk cats. about cats, baby. Oh no, no. I, no I, I, I kind of think I remember what I was gonna say. I was saying, well, because all the people in Congress are like, like sixty and older, right? Not all of them, but a good majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is the there average any Gen yeah. X in in in, in oh, South yeah. not much. Not, not, not much. as much as there should be. For, yeah. It doesn't reflect the population. It really doesn't. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely need to have yeah, more no, the, in uh, se I think the seventy-year-olds are really overrepresented. Yeah. But yeah. I like, especially in what used to be a respected deliberative body like the Senate, uh, age can, when allowed, bring something with it. Right, that kind of patience, and you know what I mean. It's yeah. like, which I think can be helpful, right, uh, in deliberative uh, uh, matters, yeah. right. Oh man! No, but some man. of these motherfuckers, and they're rich. Yes. I think that also, to me, is get the one rich that yeah, if you don't know there. what it's like to go to the grocery. Right. If you just have a guy who takes care of a, you know, the money comes in, you don't even look at it. Right. Right. Because you got a guy who handles all that right. shit. You yeah. got a, a person who does your shopping, yeah. does your cooking. All of it. If you don't go to the store and fill up your own car and shit like that, you don't know what it's like. Right. So be careful when making, you know, decisions that affect people who know what that's like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And none of those guys, you know, that are Joe Biden, uh, Donald Trump, for sure. I mean, he grew up with yeah. that silver spoon straight up his ass. Right. Never yeah, yeah, had to deal with any of that I stuff. Joe Biden yeah. did when he was nose. younger. Yeah. <laughs> could I, thought, be. I thought a silver spoon was up his nose. It could uh. be. But Joe Biden did for, you know, into the into the 70s. But he hasn't for you know, 35, 40, 45 years. Yeah, sure. He's been part of the powerful class. establishment yeah, for the a long establishment, time. That type yeah, of power, yeah, yeah. that structure of power. Oh yeah. For a long, long time. Uh, yeah. And I don't think he's necessarily, you know, a, a power broker in that same sense, like we think of, but, uh, I don't know. He listen. He was in the Senate for a long fucking time. I mean, long he's time. moved a lot of money from yeah, one yeah. place to another. Right. And that's got some juice that's behind sure. it. You know, um, I don't know, man. He's not my, you know, I'd, I've never been that middle way Democrat. I think it was a sellout to begin with. You know what I mean? And that we could have done the real, uh, uh, um, you know, populism. Because populism always sounds good. You know, rah, rah, let's do it for us. You America. Know? Right? But, uh, America. But you can also just Fuck be yeah. uh, progressive and allow for your society. Your society wants to progress. 
right? It does. It has to be stymied and stifled by these fucking weirdos. Yeah. That's the problem, right? Yeah, progress is better. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was for years. They The, the right side of the aisle drug the left side of the aisle directly into the center because their effective messaging made it sound like if you were you know anywhere left of ronald reagan you were a commie bastard you were a socialist commie bastard you know that needed you know so they had to come together in lockstep right it's like no this whole uh, non-committed thing oh yeah i want to bring that up too the non-committed uh votes and i i know it's michigan some other places it's like and some of them got like 19 percent, 15 percent. it's like and, and and, and, you know i initially i'm like why do uh leftists always shoot each other (laughs) right it's like this isn't helpful unless it can be utilized to be helpful and kind of steer policy because policy has to start from somewhere well that's That's not necessarily an executive branch decision to be made though i think in a presidential election blaming the executive branch for our policies with israel hmm, not necessarily appropriate right right? that's not just because we have treaties with israel too Right for better or for worse. Yeah. Right, yeah, but, yeah. but that's the law of the land, then. and that's not the executive branch can't go one way or the other with it. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. plenty of parts of this that, uh, and I know he's the commander in chief, etc. But I don't know, man. It's like yeah. that, it's like the I, deal I, with Afghanistan. Everybody wants to blame Biden for pulling out of Afghanistan. Yeah, no, that, that ball was already rolling the, down the hill. He, had, he yeah. couldn't do no, it. I mean, what's no, he, he was, supposed to do? He could have postponed it, maybe, but that maybe. was about it. And, but, and we didn't know it was going to go fucking psycho. No, 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 no. But, which, but that also says something. Yeah. And then this is kind of a different subject. But I, yeah, how come our intelligence didn't go? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and I, I We're gonna also have, to do have this. this question with the <laughs> Hamas attack on right. October. 7th it's like what did israeli intelligence know about that right right it really i don't really want to know the answer because i think no matter what it's going to break my heart if they got caught totally unawares that'll break my heart because they've got a huge infrastructure of spying or if they right etc 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 uh and intelligence gathering red flag oh uh, man because it saved netanyahu's uh yeah. well probably his liberty I mean, he was never going to go to prison or anything no but, but his he power. could lost his job he'd lose his power yeah yeah, yeah. And and I also I want to tie it together that that redneck in bed with a racist um, right wing uh, regime in Israel is due to Donald Trump, right? He enabled and legitimized that guy. Oh, right? Yes. Netanyahu is a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really is, and he's yeah. bad for Israel. Yeah, he really is. By allowing like, to move the yeah, but the, but he could not have hoped for a better thing. Just like George W. Bush was ineffective and evil, right, and just working to enrich his cohorts, right. But then along comes 9/11. Whether or not he had any previous knowledge of it doesn't fucking matter because we saw the reaction, right. Uh, same kind of thing for Netanyahu. It did the best, whether or not he knew about it, doesn't matter. He's, he's utilizing it to the very utmost, right? Because now they're committed. Now, yeah. right? It's like the whole, I mean, yeah, there's no backing out. No, right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm with you, man. Oh, man, what a mess. Holy yeah, moly. Fuck that guy, too, but fuck Hamas. Jesus Christ. And they get way better PR than they deserve, right? Because if, if they, by kicking this giant grizzly bear in the nuts, right, like they knew this attack would do, they didn't have any food stores, right? They didn't have any desalinization centers. They didn't have any uh, tents, blankets, any of that shit set up for their people who they knew were going to become refugees. None of that? Really, Hamas? Really? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, fuck them. Or just didn't care. Or just don't care. And yeah. that their people are just uh, food for the cause. Right. That's what yeah. I believe. Yeah. Right. Now, there's some evil pieces of shit. And that's the problem between a democracy with a Netanyahu piece of shit or Hamas with a piece of shit piece of shit. It's like uh, at least you can work uh, to get rid of a Netanyahu through peaceable means. Right, they're not locked in through weird dogma and weird ass shit. Right, yeah. it's like yeah. I don't know, man. You know what I just realized? Yeah. Uh, a week from next Thursday is going to be the the premiere of the Ghostbusters uh, Frozen Empire, and then the day before that is the premiere of the new uh, X Men animated series on Disney Plus. No, oh, geez, didn't oh, know that wow. was even a thing. 
Yeah, yeah Todd talked about that uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. It was coming the out. X-Men 97, which basically picks up where the end of the animated series from the 90s takes off. Hmm. Have you seen any uh, previews for it or anything? It's got most of the original cast. The ones that are still alive are all back. Jeez. So. Same animation style or a different Same style? style. Maybe it's, like I said, the last episode, it picks up right off of that. That's pretty badass. And, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I'm definitely going to be watching that on, on uh, Wednesday after next. And then. On, What's that premiering on? On Disney Plus. Disney hmm. Plus, yeah. yeah. Are, and are you going opening day to see <clears throat> Ghostbusters? I am. All right. So um, either you guys can do it without me. I'll I'll leave this stuff with you guys, or we can record a different day, which either way is fine with me. <laughs> uh, we got people. We got our fans coming know, by. Is right on. Mike Stockers. Uh, they're a little oh, yeah. shorter than usual. Yeah, but. Yeah. No, they just look that way. They dress out there. <laughs> <laughs> They're all Argentinian They're all assassins. Yeah, oh, man. it's a specific guild. Man. Also, I, I I watched the second episode of the newest um, um, the Walking Dead series. It has Michonne and and uh, oh yeah, I haven't seen it. Uh, it oh, good? Sure. It's yeah. yeah, it is good because it's it's, it's two different storylines because um, you're seeing what happened to um, what's his name played by An- Andrew uh, Rick. Rick Rick yeah. We see what happened to Rick after he, he the the airlift happened, and then he's trying to get back to Michonne, and Michonne's trying to find out where he went to, and there's two different storylines happening, and, and episode two was fucking insane, dude. Um, uh, Michonne was trying to get across an area that was just crawling with walkers, and uh, some people came out of nowhere and they they launched like grenades in two different directions and you then you just watch the the, the huge uh herd of, of walkers just split like the like mm. you know like moses like the shit. red sea huh <laughs> yeah huh, intense man yeah i saw the first and that's on amc first little right? bit, yeah. on amc and on amc plus if you have that you can watch it probably mm. without the commercials but uh, yeah, no, I've only seen the first two episodes, and it, it looks it it, it it harkens back to the original series in the early days of it, anyway. When it was really good. Yeah. When yeah. It wasn't just like Monster of the Week kind of, you know. Nice. Yeah. Speaking of new shows, I was telling telling you guys earlier, Shogun. Uh, I'll have to it, check it out. Badass show. Uh, Todd, they do. I know you don't like the subtitles. Uh, I don't mind them as much uh, uh, because all the Japanese speakers speak Japanese, and so. But you did say that they have nice, an English yeah. dub. They have an English okay. dub version. I noticed on. Uh, cool. On the I'll, thing. I'll, so. I'll, I'll, I didn't like. Them, but then I started calling them subtitles, <laughs> and I just really I pay much better attention well, yeah. to it now. I, I just feel enthusiastic. You're waiting for them. Well, the, yeah. the problem I have, Mike, is a lot of times they come up and they go away really fast. Yeah, and I have to oh, I have oh. to pause it, sure. read what is being said, and then hit play. Oh man, so or and then rewind it, the, then pause it, read it, and then let play. It breaks mm. up the whole yeah. thing. And then, then, then a half hour show becomes like an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mike, are you? Your, are your favorite titles are they bouncy or are they more small and firm? Uh, <laughs> uh, context and, and as always, the the ones in front of me. <laughs> always, really, always. it really my, comes my, down yeah. to that, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh my God! Do you, do you boys want to give out some advice? Jabroni, yeah. you want to give, give out some advice? What if jabroni's jabroni? a bird? It could be a bird or a verb. A verb. Oh, yeah, I jabronied that dude oh, so hard. <laughs> I don't know. That's brownie all the way down the hill. All the way down the hill, bouncing across that gully. Maybe that's a, that's what happens when you, when you get punched by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You get jabroni. <laughs> It's jabroni from my macaroni. Uh, this guy writes to us. He says, uh, my dudes, uh, which I think he's talking to all of us at this point. Uh, me, 25-year-old male, met a woman, 26-year-old female, and dig her a lot. <laughs> Dating for three months. Super fun to go out with. Has a kid, which I don't mind. Nice kid. Because of the kid, uh, we usually end up at her place for overnights, chill time, etc. Problem is, girlfriend is an absolute pig pen. 
I'm not the cleanest, but Homegirl's crib is disgusting. Dirty dishes piled high, garbage piling up, clothes everywhere, toys and games all over the floor. Have a hard time getting around the apartment because crap everywhere. Don't get me started on the smell. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, I find myself cleaning when I'm there, uh, but won't not willing to do it anymore. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to hang out there if she can't keep it clean. How do I tell her without pissing her off? You can't. No, no because that's, <laughs> you a, can't. that's a set of behaviors. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? So yeah. Like, uh, yeah. You're either going to have to just accept it and be the cleaner yeah. to, to whatever degree that you need to keep it clean, yeah. right? Because it's a higher standard than what she's rolling with. And then a man, or, I get, or it. get out now because the See, kid is there. Yeah, I get it. I dated a lot change. of single moms and oh, I mean, a lot, a lot of single moms or, uh, or, or oh. if, if you have the means to pay for someone to come in and clean the place up. Oh man. Does that send a signal though? I mean, he's there cleaning himself. Uh, if he doesn't want to do it, then, you know, pay somebody else to do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cause it's, uh, it's uh, weird if you're dating and you really like her. I mean, yeah, you're going to go over there for a, for a, uh, session and then get up and go. But I think he likes hanging out with her. And then what he said, uh, End up at her place for overnights, chill time, etc. Yeah, but if they end up cohabitating, right, he's going to have to decide. He's going to have to deal with that. He's going to have to figure yeah. something yeah. out. I honestly think if, if if it bothers him that much, but he doesn't want to kick her to the curb, I think he, yeah. he's either going to have to step up and just become the the one who does all the cleaning. Or, yeah. yeah. Or have, I'm not going over. I'm I'm the same with yeah. you, man. I'm, yeah, I know. I, 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 because that way I get to keep it at the standard that I like, but ain't, you know, <laughs> it ain't madness people. It's not, but I know a, a lot of people do have cleaning services, which I think are maintain it once it gets to a certain place or whatever, Yeah. you know, especially with a kid and man, I don't know when yeah. my kid was young, I was depressed. I had all sorts of shit going on, right? Yeah. It's like, or whatever, you know, no, I, I don't know. I think I was I, or something and overwhelmed. The Kids issue, are a fucking pain in the ass. The they issue are I have, and part of the reason why my space is not clean, is because I'm my ADHD. I'll I'll like I'll set something down, and then get back to what I was focusing on, and then later I'll be like, "Holy crap, what happened?" You know, looking around, seeing how much mess there is, and I'm overwhelmed by how much stuff there is to clean, and I was like. I don't want to deal with it right now. Yeah. And then it, okay, I, no, I'll I, just take I, a nap. I never yeah. get around to it. And <laughs> and it wasn't until I was gone for a couple of days that my housemate was like, hey, do you mind if I go in there and pick up all the recycling? And I was like, yeah, go right ahead, man. Yeah. You, know, you know, I and I, I've, I've tried to figure out ways to, to, to get around my brain just like not letting me. I want it. I want to clean. I want to pick this stuff up, but it's just there's so much of it sometimes. That I just like I, I, I can't. And uh, there's a thing uh, called body doubling, where not necessarily the other person is helping you pick up and move stuff around, but they're in the room and they're communicating with you and allowing you to kind of there's somebody here and yeah, uh, sure. so hmm. kind of helps uh -huh. with that. I I need to figure out uh, I need to figure out something because um, just letting it get so bad that it's like people are like dude your room's disgusting you know yeah, yeah. you know and uh you know there's either that or i gotta you know maybe i can go through like uh dshs or social security wherever and find somebody to you know come in like once a week and just kind of yeah but there's a up. kid that could really reflect bad on the mom right it's i like, guess so yeah i they've been dating he said for uh three months and she introduced him to her kid and, and, the kid it's like, and everything that's a little i mean well, if I could it's quick it moving yeah i guess yeah. But, uh, every young, relationship right? Right. there's always compromise that's the and name of the game dude that's all it is that is if all this it isn't is something you can compromise then you're probably going to need to just go ahead and bail out yeah yeah, yeah no, unfortunately is. yeah i mean but it can be if she's a really good partner in a bunch of other ways then just then, suck then it that up just is part of your job. Yeah, then that just yeah, becomes, yeah, yeah. you know, your job yeah, if you yeah. want it done. Yeah. It's like, yeah. What I was trying to get at, with, and I guess I just, I, I don't know if I got to that, but it's like there are reasons why someone is not necessarily picking up after themselves. It's there not, sure just, can it's be, not yeah. just that they're lazy or they're not doing it yeah. because they don't want to. They could be just overwhelmed with everything. I mean, oh, yeah. Being that they're a, parent, a single parent, they're probably just like, you know what? 
fucking there's, mass shit going there's, there's on. There's nothing like, I can do. Yeah. Gonna, as soon as I clean it, it's well, we don't get know how old the kid again. is, right? No. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. I would say also, uh, don't stew in it. Um, I mean, if this really bothers you, but you really want to make an effort with this uh, gal and you want it to be a long-term relationship and all that, I'd come clean. Be honest. Yeah. Uh, love, no be pun intended. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, let her know. Hey, this, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a clean freak or I'm a clean person and this, you know, I'm not really yeah. digging this you know this yeah but he doesn't live there right he's just going over there know. for a he's getting his little all nighter, on, yeah. right? so. which i mean i'll swim through lava for some shit are you kidding me moly dishes who gives a fuck <laughs> I don't think it's that, just, you're getting it off easy bro yeah. and then you uh, wake up and yeah. you're like mm-hmm. but it is because yeah. yeah i don't know it is i mean uh, you, you, you gotta be honest uh, with her i think you know um just look either things change or you know yeah, gnarly. Just yeah, I just don't want to hang out at your garbage, house if it's this bags. messy. And yeah. I'm willing to do. I'm willing to put in some effort too to sort of straighten up because this is where we hang out, and I get that because you have to because of the kids there, right? Yeah, right. So I'm willing to put in the effort and stuff, but just let you know I'm sort of uncomfortable being around because you know yeah. whatever. Yeah, reason. and then yeah, but does yeah does that enable behavior to where if he comes over Saturdays or whatever, does that mean that nothing else happens until Saturday? I don't know. You know what I mean? Just yeah. pile a fucking week long <laughs> pile of dishes. That's some shit, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 I hope she rinses them at least. Does it? Does Maybe it just see what happens. Yeah. Does <laughs> it say if she's a stay at home mom or does she work or what? It doesn't say no. Uh, it just says she's twenty six with a kid. And she's just uh, gnarly. He's 25. I mean, they're young. Yeah, they're kids. And we don't know how old the kid is. The kid's no. 17 from now. <laughs> if they're in, okay, come on. If it was they're, a miracle, if, Bobby. If, if they're in their 20s, <laughs> the, the kid is probably a toddler. At this yeah, point. yeah, I would yeah. think, yeah. But you also got to tell them. got limitless energy. Your kid. Telling somebody how to raise their kid, but at some no, point, you got to start teaching them, you know. If Even if you're not going to be that serious, if you can just throw a fucking hour of clean in while she fucking just. On, you know, because she's going to decompress her week and talk to you the whole time anyway. Right, right, right. So if you do the dishes and fucking clean her house for a second, uh, it'll she'll remember that and that'll make a good standard. Because yeah, like, even if you guys don't keep dating, she'll at least go, well, I had a boyfriend who was nice to me and did this and this, yeah, this, this right? Yeah, yeah. Just like, I remember him. I don't really see a downside yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But you know, it would make her, it would just make her life easier, right? Yeah. Because yeah. again, kids are a pain in the ass. I don't know how much more of a fine point I can make on that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mike, tell us how you really feel about kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah. I, like I said, I think the kid's probably going to be a toddler or... Sure. Like, yeah, you know, I'll still blame him for all sorts of shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if, if the mess is like mostly be kids things all over the place because you know the kids bring things out and they never put things away stepping on legos yeah. and shit for sure but uh diapers dude uh, uh, uh fuck everywhere diapers or if, if i mean is it everything or is it just the kids things that's the other thing it's like if it's everything yeah. he just might be well, overwhelmed he mentioned no, he mentioned dishes. clothes yeah. dishes and garbage piling yeah. we shouldn't take the garbage out yeah, yeah but he doesn't live in there, an apartment i don't know, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. at least some of it i don't know if i'd be picking up somebody's i don't know tough call i, I bet i would i absolutely would i just don't like touching other people's property right yeah, i'm not yeah. into it but if she's you know your lover it's kind of different right, right. you yeah. know like, make make yeah, here's yeah. something you can do if, if for example, she's um, neurodivergent and is having brain issues of, hey, I need to pick this up, or um, body doubling, as I mentioned earlier, is something that you can do. That you don't have to be in there picking up, but at least in there talking to them while they're, yeah. you know, hey, grab that, put that in there, and yeah, help nor- them. Normalize them being in that place, doing that. Activity. Yeah, and yeah. and help them out, and uh, and. You could also make it into like a game, you know, if that helps too. You know, hey, you know, enlist the kid, t- mm-hmm. teaching him how to, you know, scrub dishes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just yeah. walk in and be like, "What in the yeah. fuck is that funky smell?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would, yeah, that, that, yeah, would geez, that would yeah. probably yeah. end your relationship. No, I mean, like that. Uh, no. And that's the thing. It's like. Yeah, man. And I, I, none of us have asked this. I can't believe we're sl- you know, slipping, but uh, is she hot? Well, I don't want to. No, I mean, you come know, on. It, How come this obviously is Obviously, she's, she's hot yeah. to him because yeah. he's, you he's, know. He's considering, know. you know, like just come on. Consi- continuing yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Being yeah. the guy who cleans up around yeah. the house. I mean, I'll put up with a ton if she's hot and she's fun and I enjoy oh, her yeah. company and stuff. I'll put up with a ton. Yeah. Um, looking at you, darling. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. amazing. No, it's I, amazing I was what telling you... my old lady tonight that she's the easiest going, bestest yeah. human being ever. Yeah. And that I, because I'm, I'm a pain in the ass. Are you kidding? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she's a saint. But, I would uh, say in my uh, relationship, I'm the pain in the ass. Oh, because, good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right there with you. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Climber's good. Good job, Climber. Thank you. <laughs> She'll never know. No, I know. I know. It's in the vault, dude. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take this clip and email it to her. Look on YouTube. <laughs> make, make it a real one and oh tag her in it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because cohabitating ain't easy, man. It really is. And yeah. there's tons and tons and tons of compromise. She might not like the way you shower. She might not like your yeah. soap or your shampoo. You know, there's compromise everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I get that this bothers you, man. But uh, just be honest with her and yeah. say, hey. You know, let that's her, always the, uh, the, I always come back to this. Be as honest as you can. Let her know, so, but don't do it in such a way that you're. Take them to the Great uh, Wolf Lodge or some shit, right? Put the kid in the fucking, you know, in the kid. In the pool. Kid place and go fucking hop in the, you know, whatever place with the fun place and the stuff. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Great Wolf Lodge is a hotel, right? I'm not making that up. It's the water slide. Place. Oh, it's not. I thought yeah. it was a hotel theme park thing. It, well, it, it is the it water, is. Oh, yeah, water yeah. park. Yeah, so yeah. can't you make your kids go to the water park where you go have fun time with your old lady? Well, I Nobody's think, doing that? I think there's, the, uh, like, you have to supervise your kids. Yeah, you're, you, can't just, you can't just leave them. It's, no, you don't. It's not That's not, a not, bunch it's, of left-wing propaganda. It's not the 80s, dude. You, you can't just drop your kids <laughs> off of the arcade uh, and then come back six hours later. I tell you what, Mike, I drop my kids off at the pool all the time. Once or twice a day. Yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. You can say it's a regular schedule. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, have we beaten uh, this cleaning lady I to don't death? Know. Well, geez, I don't I know. Just, it, I, you just have to make the call, bro. It's, it's not yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, be honest, but don't, don't, be, don't be a dick about it, you know? Yeah. And everything's on a scale, right? Uh, just like we said, if she's hot to you and she's fun to hang out with yeah. and everything else is great. If that's maybe the that's only a, thing that's wrong with her, then I think that's not a terrible thing. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. Uh, I mean, unless, yeah, that's just a thing that he can't take. You know what yeah. I mean? If that's your line. Yeah. Because, yeah, my line's like uh, racists. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like if you're over there and then suddenly uh, her closet opens, there's a Dixie flag and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's four copies of Mein Kampf fall off the fucking shelf or something. It's, it's like, well, I should go now. Dude, it's like <laughs> when, you, when, you're, when you're browsing like dating profiles and you see, like, you read the pr- paragraphs and whatnot and you, and you start going through the pictures and that's when you start seeing the two A hats and the, and the, and the, the you know, just. Uh, all the all the red flags, you know, uh-huh. you know, Second Amendment, this, that, and the other. No, sure. Well, <laughs> you know, well I, mean, I think we should have the right to shoot as many fellow Americans <laughs> as our little hearts desire, as long as I'm standing yeah, my ground. Man, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Okay, yes, yeah. we realize that not just conservatives have guns and are oh, pro yeah. gun. No, no, no. But for me, that is a red flag. I was like, I don't need someone who's having a bad day decide to pull out a gun if I'm being a dick yeah, or whatever. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah no, and, and it's part of a human failing, but the gun allows that human failing to be so overly impactful, yeah. right? Uh, so, yes, that's the problem with guns. I mean, yeah. murderous intent is worse, and right? Because it, it manifests in all sorts of ways, but guns make the reaching out <laughs> and yeah, inflicting yeah. much easier, right? That's kind of what they do. Yeah. I mean, Which is cool in Dune because there's not a lot of uh, guns. In Dune? Yeah. Okay. Which is neat. So there's a lot of. A lot of, lot of stabbing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Stabby, is he the hero still? Guns oh, don't kill people, but yeah. giant worms do. Yeah, giant worms do. Yeah. Which I don't know. Having had Giardia, I'm like, I'm not as scared of you know, worms as most. Yeah. Take that. 
Uh, speaking of worms, uh-huh. real quick, uh, tonight, everybody, our, our, our take, which we're actually going to do one for the first time in a couple of weeks, I think, uh, we're doing the second best hospital in the galaxy. Yes. Did everybody get a chance to watch I, it? I watched episode one. You know? I, okay. I yeah. watched a handful of episodes. I don't know how close I was watching, but I was watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a funny worm in the beginning that was feeding off of people's anxiety, yeah, which that was I thought great. was kind of fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, and Natasha Leone must be protected at all costs, <laughs> right? Oh, she's I mean, a treasure. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I liked her character too. Y- you'll need to go subscribe to the to the uh, Patreon to see what I have to say about this show. Yeah, go on to yeah. What uh, was her? Oh, Russian Doll. Russian Doll. Oh fuck, it's a second trip. season wasn't yeah. great. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. First yeah. season was great. Yeah, I really second enjoyed that. What was the other show she had on over on Peacock that where uh, she just was able to tell when people are lying? Oh yes, she was oh, the yeah. yeah when is, I don't know. If I that's forgot coming about back. that. Yeah, uh, I think it is coming back. Uh, hmm. Damn, I like that show too. Yeah, no, she's cool. It. Yeah, and uh, uh, Orange is the New Black or yeah, whatever yeah, famously, yeah. right? That, yeah, which I never saw, but people liked it. No, she was good on that. Yeah, no, she's cool. Yeah. And she just feels like Sony I met in AA. <laughs> Someone I'm sharing a cigarette yeah. with out oh, behind man. the church. Yeah. Uh, eating stale donuts. Oh, is that an option? Did you have stale donuts? I wish I had uh, some stale donuts, but yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, you mean donuts. bagels? <laughs> oh, oh, man. man well, bagels. Yeah, no, bagels. Uh, bagels are just stale donuts. Favorite uh, donuts. Except they're not sweet and they're... <laughs> Yeah. Delicious. They can be. Yeah. Not inherently. A donut it, is yeah. pretty inherently delicious. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you got to, you can appreciate a bagel because it'll get you through the day. You know, oh, it's yeah. like lit, uh, lit, uh, Lismas bread or whatever from the house. It's like, you only need a little piece. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Leave it to Mike to bring it. <laughs> Oh, okay. The, the show I'm, I was trying to remember, but my, I couldn't think of it. It's called Poker Face. Poker Face. Uh, yes, that was a good. Yeah, show. she's a hoot. Yeah, yeah. She's it's a basically hoot. she's ain't able to tell when someone's lying without you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which she's made her bummer. great oh, uh, she's she's she, investigator. <laughs> yeah. In, in yeah. the beginning, she was like she was kind of made to work for this casino to figure out when people sure. were. Cheating, cheating, yeah, and uh, she got out of that and was running from Vegas to get away and not get you know stuck with a knife or whatever. Friend oh, yeah. died or something, yeah. right? I'm trying to remember. The There's show. a bunch of shit happening, and yeah. it was, every yeah. episode is one thing after another. And it was yeah. just like, okay, hmm. what's gonna happen next week? Nice oh, yeah. show. Hey, yeah, remember Pie, the movie Pie by Aronofsky or whatever? Mm-mm. I, oh. Well, I didn't see it. Yeah, oh, fuck, it's a good movie. But there's a guy who's like a super mathematics genius, but then all of a sudden other people have noticed that. So like the people who would do it for, use him for gambling, use him for all these different, uh, who want to just steal his was brain Was he a Rain power. Man kind of thing? Kind of, yeah. Okay. It's a cool movie. It's a Darren Aronofsky. Yeah. It's you know what I mean? So it's trippy. exactly, yeah. 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 Huh. Also, um, the okay. premiere of The Masked Singer happened last night. If you don't watch it, um it was pretty funny because the, the the last person they had on the show was a god awful singer. Oh, fucking just terrible. And you could sit, you could, you could tell the the all the judges were like, <laughs> and uh, and as they're uh, talking to them, trying to figure out who they are and stuff, the the guy in the costume starts kind of like wrestling with the costume and rips it off. And they went to commercial and they came back, and it was Kevin Hart. Oh. And uh, he was like. I got you, Nick. I got you. Oh, Some sort of prank dude, or something. Nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah that, he's like the biggest star that's been on that show. I mean, usually it's like, well, friggin' I, I don't, John Schneider. Or, no, they've had bigger people. Have they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they, well, I mean, that show more, was huge in more Japan. More relevant people, I okay. should say. Yeah. Huge in Japan, and they had people like uh, Ryan Reynolds would go <laughs> be on. Joe it. Biden should be on there with a saxophone. <laughs> well, they, well, they they had what's her face from Alaska. <laughs> we're, we're, Palin? Yeah, Palin was no. on oh, season, season five. Yeah, mother or so daughter? Dumb. Daughter Palin or uh, mother? Yeah. What? But, yeah, she, oh my she God. actually was a good singer too, oh, which is geez. surprising. And and uh, uh, and um, uh, um, former mayor of New York was on there as well. Yeah. And he was also <laughs> Ed Cuomo. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, Andrew Cuomo. No, the one yeah. with the melting face. Yeah, poor melty face. 
You know, it's oh, the my, mayor my, my, of New York, former mayor, yeah, of yeah, New yeah. York. Julio. Oh no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giuliani. I thought you said Giuliani. governor. Of New no, York. no, no, former yeah. mayor of, yeah. of New York, oh, Giuliani. He, he was on there, and like sack of shit. Yeah. And like three of the, was it four judges walked up and left. Because it was bad. It's just like yeah. Can we make lines? When, when, cool when they took again. the mask oh, off and they realized who it was, Giuliani. They're like, yeah, no. <laughs> they got up and left. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we're gonna end this here episode, boys. What? I got a couple of uh, fun hey, quotes hey, in hey. honor of our top five this week. As we mentioned at the beginning of the show, we're uh, talking top five muscle cars, um, and you can find that on our website in the members only section. It's just three dollars a month or thirty dollars a year, or go find it on the Patreons, oh. uh, which is uh, French for please give us some money. Um, but we're doing our top five muscle cars. So in honor of that, I've got some road. Uh, quotes for you. Uh, I may not have ended up where I intended to go, but I think I have ended up where I intended to be. Jeez. That's by Douglas Adams, who I'm not sure oh, who that is. That's you know? a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Et cetera, et cetera. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then uh, another one, uh, nothing behind me, everything ahead of me, as is ever so on the road. And yeah. that's Kerouac himself. Jeez. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a very Zen practice, isn't it? Really it really is. Right? Yeah. If you have no attachment to the past, right? That's, I, I wish I didn't. I think Sometimes that's a I wish I didn't. But yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Going out for a sm- pack of smokes, honey. <laughs> I go out for smokes and milk. I'll see you in seven years. Something like that. I was abducted by aliens. <laughs> oh, my God. So, folks, please come back uh, for the bonus round. Uh, and anything else from you, Jokers? Uh, no, no. Just, you know, definitely go go to our, our website and order the Patreon and so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah. Know? And get some merch while you're there. Got some yeah, stickers. No, yes, yes, some stickers, t-shirts, t-shirts. Buttons. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hey, make did, you something if you really want. Did we want. ever get those invisible t-shirts? I haven't got the imaginary t-shirts done yet. I got to oh, yeah. stuff. I, I, I think do. all of our uh, people could be wearing their imaginary t-shirts right, right now. now. I know. Yeah. All right, I'll get on that. As tune in. The, uh, it's been a busy couple of weeks at the at the uh, forty hours. So yeah. Uh, you, sorry should, to hear. You, you should get like some some Winter renderings time. with the AI artwork for what the invisible shirts would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just a dot 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 <laughs> Just yes. it's whatever color. Yeah. Yes. Whatever what, logo, <laughs> yeah. it's, whatever the size font. you need. Yeah. Is it'll it, make you. It's it very little slimy. puffy letters. <laughs> Remember the puffy one? That little, yeah. Oh, from the 70s yeah. and 80s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very slimming. It's oh, a, yeah, that's acts always, as a push up. Always looks good on you. Yeah. Yes, always. Always. Yeah. Yeah. And forever. And forever. All right, guys. Well, we'll see right. you next week. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks. You. Bye-bye. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you think this episode is worth a dollar or five bucks, the boys would love to have it. Please go to ourtownpod.store for merch or to donate now. For less than a cup of coffee, you can also join the website in the member-only area for exclusive bonus content, blogs, and more. It's just $3 a month or $30 a year. Thank you for listening to this production of Our Town Podcast Extraordinaire.